Alright, hi guys, welcome to Mappy Makeup. I'm really excited. I just got in the mail um, and I wasn't expecting it for a couple more days, so I'm super excited. My ColourPop haul, um, holiday haul. So I thought I would share it with you because I am so excited about it. Um, and it came with uh, just a card that said thank you, um, and it was handwritten, which I thought was different, and I liked it. Um, and then it also came with, because I got lippies and eyeshadows, um, it came with like the lippy love, um, and then on the back it tells you like some tips and information about the lippy uh, sticks and the lippy pencils. I did not get any pencils yet, I will probably go back and get some. And then the uh, ColourPop Super Shock uh, Shadow Tips and Tricks. Uh, it says to use your fingertip, which I will do. I will be making a um, tutorial uh, using these colors that I got um, for the holiday season. Um, so let's jump in. It's super exciting. I got two lippies, um, two free shadows, and then a palette that I am incredibly excited about. So we will start with the lippy sticks. So the first one I got is called Heart On. I like it. Um, it sounds like Heart On. I'm not saying Heart On. It is Heart On. So let's take this out. So it is that color. It's kind of a, a fuchsia and it's beautiful and bright and I love it. So you can see it there. And then I got Frenchie. Both of these are matte colors. And it says that the matte finish has full coverage, super long wear, I'm sorry, super long wear, wearing ultra comfortable and seriously loaded with pigment in a matte finish. Um, and from what I could tell on YouTube, everybody was saying that the mattes were the best, so I got them. I really wanted to try their new hypergloss finish ones, but they came in sets, and I didn't want the whole set. I just wanted the two, the pink and the red one. Um, so I might go back and get those later. This one is Frenchy, described as like a neon red, which is perfect for me. I love it. Um, it's super bright, and bright colors tend to look really good on the skin tone. So there's Frenchie right there. Just, just listen. Oh, I love that sound. It's a nice click. Um, I know that it's staying protected. And then I got two separate eyeshadows. The first one is called Lala. Um. They are hard to get open to some degree, but that's because you want to keep them shut and sealed tight, otherwise they won't be as gorgeous as they are. But this one is kind of like a rose gold with shimmer. Um, it's just really, really pretty. Um, and it feels like absolute butter. I don't know if you can see that. It's just gorgeous. Oh, love it. Do you see? the gorgeousness. Okay. Two things that I really, really wanted this holiday season. I wanted the Too Faced Everything Nice palette and I went to Sephora and they didn't have it. They just had the tester. So I was like in there swatching it out and there were two colors that I absolutely fell in love with and I really, really wanted. So I went to another Sephora and they were out. And then I went to another Sephora and they were out. So finally I went online. Ladies, they were out. It was crazy. So I signed up to have them send me an email when I came back into stock and they did at the worst possible time. I had just paid rent and bills and student loans and I had no money and I had to wait a week and when I went back to get it, they were out. So um, the two colors I really wanted were Totally Fetch, which was like a pink with like a silver shimmer. It was like a hot pink with silver shimmer, I should specify. And then the other one was Girly, which was like a brown undertone, um, green, dual chrome gorgeousness. Well, I actually found two colors that I think are somewhat similar 
in the ColourPop and I'm very very excited. So the first one is going to replace the Totally Fetch. It's called Slave to Pink. And it's just taking a moment. Gorgeous. Okay. So whew, getting it open. <gasps> okay, so it doesn't have the um, silver finish to it, which I'm okay with. It's that hot pink that I really, really wanted. And it has like a purplish blue or like a violet, I guess, uh, dual chrome. Mm, it just, it hurts. This color hurts me. It's not as buttery. Ladies, I don't care. Look at that. It's just like... Gorgeous! <sighs> Freaking gorgeous! Okay? Oh, can you see that dual chrome in there? It's just like, it hurts. It hurts me. And then the final thing I got, which is the original thing I really, really wanted, it's the ColourPop Not a Box of Chocolates. Okay, it's just bloody gorgeous. Um, it comes with Six colors, and I should mention that these uh, Lala was five dollars, and uh, Slave to Pink was five dollars. The singles are five dollars each. Um, the sets are priced out the same way. Um, so this was thirty dollars for. Um, don't hold that in your face. To all six for all six of them, and so I'm not going to tell you anything that it doesn't tell you on the website. But this one is Halo. Um, and it's a golden champagne dusted with a soft gold glitter. Um, it's a satin finish. Then this one down here, oof, so beautiful, is Slay. It is an icy sage with multicolored glitter. Uh, and it's a metallic finish and it's, oof. <sighs> they're just so pretty. Um, this one is Tinsel. And it's a grayed out icy lavender um, with a metallic finish. This one down here um, is called Drift. I know the name's a little confusing because you think of snow when you think holiday and drift. Um, but it is a beautiful cranberry with a pearlized finish um, is what the website says. This is Partridge, so this is the one that I wanted that I thought would be like girly um, for Too Faced because it is a saddle brown undertone and it has a green dual chrome finish. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. And then this is Doe a Deer. And it, they describe it as a black and violet uh, with a matte finish. So let's take a look at these one at a time. How gorgeous are they? Um, so the first one we're going to look at is Halo. which is that champagne color. And it's definitely sparkly. I adore, adore sparkles. The sparklier, the better. I realize that you can't do that all the time. Ooh, and it feels like butter. Um, but definitely during the holiday season, I certainly can. So I'm just gonna swatch that. Okay. Um, and I am just closing these right away because I want them to stay really nice. And it says don't leave them out um, without the lid on for long periods of time. So it's right here. It is subtle. It has that nice kind of um, mature sparkle to it. It's definitely not like a chunky sparkle. It's just very um, beautiful. It would look gorgeous like outside in the moonlight on a winter stroll. This one is sleigh, you know, because you go for sleigh rides in the winter. Um, and it definitely does have that sage green, which greens are great, like those um, neutral greens. And then it has such a nice, beautiful glitz to it. So definitely, oh, such a pretty um, kind of Christmas green without being in your face green. 
can you see how sparkly that is? It's just so beautiful. It's beautiful, as my mother would say. Okay, the next one is tinsel. I'm a tinsel girl. I love tinsel on the tree because it's sparkly. Oof, okay. So tinsel, and I really like that this has kind of like that gray purple undertone. Um, it's just super pretty. Gray is my favorite, favorite color. Um, so I love that. And then of course, it's sparkly. And this one is super, super soft. Oh my goodness, so soft. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Do you see that? I am dying. Yeah. It's so freaking beautiful. There it is. I'm excited to see how that looks with my blue eyes. Um, I have eyes that kind of change a little bit, so they can be blue, they can be gray, they can be green, um, and sometimes what I wear kind of helps them appear different, so I'm excited about that. For me, um, this season I am most excited about these cranberry colors. Um, I have some that I really love in my Vice 3 palette. Um, and instead of putting like a brown or black in the outer V, I kind of use these colors to just give me that warmer, deep look and they look really good with the blue. Um, so I'm excited about this one. I feel like it might get a little overlooked. Um, but this is Drift. And it definitely has kind of that metallic-y feel to it. I know it says that it is a pearlized finish, um, but I, I think it has a little bit of a metallic love to it. At least from the container it does. So there that one is. Um, just a beautiful cranberry to help warm up your complexion. And look how beautiful those look together. Whew, love it. So that one is Drift. Okay, the second one is the one that I am incredibly excited about because, like I said, I really wanted the Too Faced palette for the two colors, and now I feel like I have something comparable. So this one is Partridge, like a partridge in a pear tree. So this yeah, one is Partridge. I oh, God. Mmm. Dual Chrome. Love it. Love the dual chrome. It might be my favorite kind of concept, dual chromes. Okay. So let's just go ahead and. Do you see that? Do you see that? It's just like. I'm gonna set this over here. It's just like heaven. Ha! Oh, heaven! Right there. Dual chrome. It is like a nice warm brown underneath and that gorgeous just green and look 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 at the pigmentation no freaking joke it's my favorite easy so excited and I don't always wear a ton of greens but for some reason when it's like a dual chrome green it's just like oh gold Gotta have it. Um, and then the last one is called Doe a Deer. Which, really cute names. I don't know if I think they're perfect for necessarily the colors in every case. Because um, when I'm from the land of deer, I don't live by deer anymore, but I'm from the land of deer and deer are not this dark. Just saying. Um, but. It's a cute name, and it is definitely not a true black. It has um, that purple in there with like a little bit of shimmer, a um, little bit of shimmer because it's a matte finish, but I can definitely see some glitz. 
Um, oh, JK, it does not come off shimmery on your finger at all. It is definitely matte. And it is like a warm, it's, it's like a warm black um, with that purple in there. I'm just gonna swipe that one right there. Oh yeah, it definitely comes off as kind of a warmer purple. Can you see that? Super, super pretty. Again, another really good option for me to put in my outer V to kind of warm up my look instead of just like darkening it completely. Um, so those are my beautiful swatches. I love them. Um, the look that I have on today, um, I didn't do any sort of tutorial with it, um, because I wasn't expecting to film because I didn't know I was getting my color pop today. Um, but if you would like to see this look, you know, just comment below. I will, um, list everything that I'm wearing. Um, I will be doing a holiday look with the new ColourPop, as well as I also got a Lorac Pro palette, the first one, um, because I have blue eyes and I feel that that, those colors look better for me. Um, so I, that's a lot of what I use today, and I was also going to do, um, a look separate from this one with that. Um, so if you'd like to see a Lorac Pro palette look, um, for the holiday season, just comment below. Um, and if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. Um, ooh, my brain. I got the lava. You make me wanna lava in the kitchen on the floor. I'll be a French maid. Sorry.